Starting now, the website for Hartsfield Jackson International Airport has been down throughout the morning. ABC News reports there was a, a Russian cyber attack on multiple U.S. airport sites. And Channel 2 consumer investigator Justin Gray is live at the airport where he's gathering the very latest information on this. Justin, what do you know? Well, Fred, I was able to log in here on my laptop just in the past couple of minutes, but our producer Savannah back there in the control room, she just tried to log on. The computer there could not get on, so it remains hit and miss. In fact, the airport put out a statement about 10 o'clock saying everything was back in action. They deleted the tweet they put out because it seems like they're still having trouble keeping the website consistently available to customers. And, you know, travelers did have some issues this morning if they jumped on there trying to check on parking here at the airport or check those TSA wait lines. Instead, they found an error message. Airport officials, though, tell us that this is in no way impacting operations here at the airport. They're now investigating the outage, but ABC News tells us they confirmed with a senior administration official that some of the nation's largest airports have been targeted for cyber attacks today by an attacker within the Russian Federation. Now, important to point out, the systems targeted do not handle air traffic control or internal airline communication or anything related to transportation security. Of course, you might remember that the city of Atlanta was hit by a cyber attack back in 2018 that crippled city services here at their airport. They responded to that back then by shutting down the Wi-Fi. Now, city and airport officials will not confirm to us today whether this was, in fact, a cyber attack. They're just saying at the moment they're investigating again, though. ABC News confirming in Washington that there was, it seems like, a coordinated attack on major airports across the country from inside the Russian Federation. We're continuing to track this for you. We're live at Hartsville Jackson, Justin Gray, Channel 2 Action News. Okay, Justin, thank you very much. You mentioned that you're back on. You were able to get on. I just tried. I can't get on from here, so we'll see what, ha what develops throughout the day, my friend. Thank you.